Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to make a complete building. It is just a Wild West abandoned building, house, abandoned house. Been going for a little while now and everything seems to be fine so far. So in this video I will give you throughout this build some you know little snippets of the actual build and how it progresses I'm not gonna have the camera here held here for four hours <laughs> my arm will start hurting but I shall show you a few bits that I've already printed off I probably paid well this machine has paid a hundred pounds worth of stuff already from what I've printed off I shall show, show you a few bits in a second that I've done just completely an amazing thing so as I said well I should show you you know how I got started basically um, it is very beginner level I'm by no means not even a novice so I'm we'll show you how I got basically to this point um, before I do I'm just going to show you because we'll come back to this um, shortly and as I said I'll show you snippets of, of the build progressing but I'm going to show you something that or some of the stuff that I've already 3D printed as I said you'll have to excuse the, the crudeness of the, the video um, hopefully you can see the details so I printed off four of these this was the first one a little mistake on the top there not a problem because the scenery will cover it anyway but um, my PLA got bent but I'm just hopefully you can there yeah, you can see the the prints itself as I said there's four of them yeah so there's probably 30 quid just there you know that I'd have to you know if I was to buy them off eBay like you know um, they came out all the rest came out really well really really smooth really sharp um, little couple of little bits just to to file off on them but you know it's uh, yeah I'm well pleased like I said this is for the um, movie scene theme park modules so let me just quickly show you the process so I set up my machine, my machine which was you know even with the LCD PCB thing at the back the cable which was a bit tricky for me and just obviously for those that don't know me that's why it was tricky you know I'm a disabled guy and not very knowledgeable about the whole 3D pr process um, Anthony Dodge kindly put me in the right direction with his video but this is how I got basically started so I downloaded flash print 5 it was in now I just clicked the, the model I had which was the Flash Forge Adventure 5M and I just downloaded that onto my laptop then I went on to there's, there's a lot of sites I'm not endorsing any um, you know but there's loads of sites there's loads of free downloads as well so you know and if you do want to buy some stuff they're literally just like I paid 80p for the picnic baskets so I've got them not picnic baskets picnic tables you know and I've got it there so I can download as many as I well I'll print off as many as I want but this is the abandoned house that's being printed at the moment so went on to Colts 3D downloaded the the zip file 
and then put it onto my desktop opened it up got the the you know the program the the file out which was the uh, uh where is it there yeah, the abandoned house took that out of the the folder put that on the desktop then i opened up my flash print 5 new project transferred it across then I resized it it'll tell you on the the download you know of what size you need for whatever scale you're doing if you're end gauge you know usually it's 10 millimeter you know uh, you'll have to look at the percentages because I'm not quite sure on that I know 87% is HO gauge because 1 in 87 so uh, obviously you can scale up or scale down the size of your building so I've scaled it to 187 because that's what it said on the you know in the instructions it's got the most of them have got the instructions there whether they're free downloads or, or payable ones so transferred the file into my flash print 5 in the new project and then you click start slicing once you click start slicing it'll do its thing and then once you're done it obviously I got one with LCD screen so it's got its Wi-Fi same as my laptop and it just transferred then the file you know once once you've sliced it it'll transfer it then to the screen of the flash print 5 not yeah not flash print 5 to the flash forge Adventure 5, it'll transfer, depending on what machine you have, I'm sure they all work on the same kind of process. So, uh, the file transferred over to there and obviously did its warming up of the nozzle and the bed and everything else. And, and away we go. And as you saw, it's, you know, this is not even a tutorial, it's just <clears throat> a basic way of of just how I got started basically. So I went on Colts 3D, downloaded a few things, um, transferred it to the desktop, then from the desktop, opened the folder, transferred the file to the desktop, in this case the abandoned house, then opened up the Flash, flash Print 5, new project, put it into there, resized it, start slicing, then transferred it to the machine. So I hope that is as clear as mud. Like I said, I am very much a beginner, very much a beginner. So what we'll do is I'm gonna leave this going for a little bit and I shall very shortly show you some more progress of how it's getting on. I mean, it's just, so fascinating I basically put a picture into my computer and it sends it to this and it prints it out it's just amazing I uh, really you know and you know it is a game changer it you know <laughs> it's literally just you know, apart from your electric and your your PLA, which isn't expensive anyway. Um, you know, this is just costing pennies to print, like you know. Um, uh, and, and you can literally just print anything. You know, as long as you've got your you know downloadable file. Like I said, I'm very much a beginner, so you know, hopefully in the future I'll be able to get maybe a scanner I've seen some cheap ones um, I'm not sure how much memory space they take but you've just got so much options with this and you can literally just 3D print anything and if you see all the all the details that I've started to poke through just you know like I said I'm going to stop waffling and we'll come back soon and 
see how we're progressing, eh? But just I absolutely love this. This is best thing ever. You know, um, you, you can get cheap ones for 150 quid. I've, I've seen them actually for 90 quid, but you know, and you can get your really expensive ones that cost you a thousand pound. But you know, I'm nowhere near that level. Like I said, I just wanted one with an LCD screen, which I've got. So, and looks like I need to get some stock of PLA now. But yeah, I'm. You know, another, another few more prints and this machine would have already paid for itself, like, you know, so really happy about it. So I'll update you with progress very soon. Now progress report. So we're roughly, I would say about a third away through the print. And it's all starting to look just like the picture so that's the way it looks you can just see the tree hopefully I can get a good view of it no nope. the tree coming through the window so yeah very much in an abandoned house Just mesmerizing that literally the single best purchase that I've ever made. Just brilliant, you know. Uh, just so much you can do with this. And you know, the whole fact that I'm saving a bunch of money is brilliant. It's just, you know. It's funny because, like, I'll go away for it for like thirty minutes, and you can, you know, see the progress. Yeah, we're sitting here watching it. it looks like oh, there's not really much happening. But when you come back to it, it's all half an hour. And you say, oh, look at it now. Brilliant. So I'll give you another progress update very soon. So, almost at the end. Pretty, pretty groovy. Oh, so I've got a few spider webs there. I need to, the trees. Hopefully, you can get a better view of it. Is supposed to be. There you go. This is an, an abandoned house. It's growing through there through the window, looks really cool. I said I've got to trim off those spider web things shortly. But how neat does that look? Some nice little details. Had a little mishap, the uh, kind of electric, electricity post <laughs> kind of snapped off. But it's no big drama. Can have it just laid there as it is in an abandoned house so it won't look out of place and this will be for blazing saddles so there's another 20 quid saved this is going to be the last one I'll show you just you know boys and their toys eh <laughs> not sure if you get to as far as this point in the video but I'm going to record it anyway and I'm just going to wait for the you know, five minutes towards the end of the print and I should record the last few minutes. So I shall leave it there but that's where we're at to so far. Excuse me, my shadow getting in the way. See you shortly. So we finished. I couldn't record the last minute or so because my phone ran out of battery. But this is my 
little abandoned Wild West hut. It's got a tree growing out. There's a couple of spider webs I've got up. Just, just trying to turn it for you. Hopefully you can get a good view of it all. Just absolutely cracking. Obviously I've got to paint it all up and everything else. The there was a sort of uh, electricity pole just here actually snapped off to my annoyance, but not a big deal. It's an abandoned building anyway. Uh, sorry, I've got the, the light from the window. But how cool is that? So my first building, I am getting adventurous. But really good, really good, really pleased. Um, I've said it a few times now. I think 3D is definitely the, the thing of the future. Hopefully, no. Just let me try and turn it a little bit more. There we go. And um, yeah, no. I apologise for the for the lighting. I'm trying to get the the best view possible but yeah I'm really impressed this 3d printing is just absolutely amazing so I won't bother you again with the 3d printing I'm going back and continuing with the movie scene theme park module but yeah I just I'm a 3d printing junkie now so there you go so I'll see you very soon. Like I said, I won't bother you with any more 3D prints. I've shown enough now. Bye for now. See you soon. Take care.